We turn it off with greed by stimulating their greed glands, their want, right? We want to poke at that emotional greed. And by greed, I don't necessarily mean money. I mean abundance, right? I want all the money. I want all the women. I want all the cars. I want all, the Ty Lopez pitch is great. You can joke about that guy all you want. I know a lot of people do. And he's like, yeah, joke. Fuck you. Have a good time. I mean, the guy's doing not a great deal, but he's attracting a giant audience because he gets it. He's poking at that want gland, right? Really, really, really well. Really well. He's poking that reptilian brain back there saying, hey, you know you want it. You know you want it. You know you want it. He's the crack dealer on the corner going, ah, first one's free. Right? You know you want it. And you're looking at him. The fact that he's a little silly is to his benefit. It really is. Because you look at him and go, man, if that guy's doing that, I'm going to make a bajillion dollars. I'm going to show you an ad example in a minute. It's like that. Logic. Gain logic fear. They're a triad. I use them. If you'll look through my sales letters, you'll usually see that pattern repeat over and over again within the body of the letter. Gain, logic, fear. They're the only three reasons really people move, right? They want something. Has anybody ever done a product launch? Right? It's changing a little bit. It used to be about half the sales came opening day, then a few would come in the middle and then the rest would come in the close. And now it's even less in the beginning because people are trained. They understand launches now if you're in, the, in this market. But basically, your people who bought day one, your rabid people, were buying it 100% for gain. Right? You didn't have to talk about crap with them, about fear or logic. They didn't care. You wouldn't believe how many times that we had people call Digital Marketer. I used to write all the copy for Digital Marketer. When Ryan and I were first together, the first five years, I wrote almost all the copy. And, uh, and it was some hot copy. I wrote some good, some of the best copy ever written back in those days. And because um, I had to, <laughs> I was baroque. But we had people would call us and say, hey, is this customer service? Yeah. I bought this thing for $2,000 and it's on my credit card. Can you tell me what it is? <laughs> That's a gain buyer. That little reptilian brain over a 45 minute sales letter took over and said, hey, you, no up front, shut up, get out of the way. This is good. I want this so bad, I'm not going to listen to you, right? And we've all made those decisions. Usually not so good results in some cases. A logic. So some people react to logic. This is kind of a, the middle of the ground between gain logic, fear. Logic is the one in the middle that's going to get you more sales, but probably only 10 or 15%. So really telling people the logic of what you do is only going to get a certain percentage of the sales that you want, but we tend to spend an inordinate amount of time on logic. We're trying to justify, we're writing with logic, right? Again, back to Trump, right? Build a wall, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. And Hillary's over on the other side of the stage going, well, the foreign policy in Afghanistan right now is such that we really need to, wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. <clears throat> Nobody wanted to hear that. Nobody ever wants to hear that, all right? You're talking about how great your product is, <clears throat> you know. It's cool to hear the story of the wines, you know. The stories are fun, but the tactical part, it's fun to know once. I'd never want to hear it again, you know. When I went out to Napa and they were showing me all the different ways, you know, there are this many varietals and this many elevations and this many soil types and this many ways that we pluck the thing and this many kind of cements that we use to store. All that was cool one time. I don't care about that anymore. You know, now if you tell me George Clooney drinks it, I'm down, right? Because I'm a big Clooney fan. So logic is a, a secondary for sure. Fear, right? Fear is a biggie. And usually it's the fear of missing out. It's the fear of opportunity. <clears throat> and if you can learn to craft the fear of opportunity better, you'll sell more stuff, right? The fear of lost opportunity.
We're gonna talk about that when we get to scarcity a great deal, because it's my favorite form of scarcity in a sales uh, pitch.